So you might wonder why we are doing all of this course programming in Python and not uh, in C or C++ or Java, some of the more popular languages that a lot of students and working professionals may be already aware of. There are multiple reasons for it. The first one being that Python is a very, very simple language to learn and pick up. And by the way, if you know C, C++ or Java, Python should be a cakewalk to pick up. We have multiple videos explaining the basics of Python. But more importantly, this is the most important reason on why we picked up Python and not C, C++ or Java. Because Python has this terrific packages uh, like matplotlib, which is, which is a great plotting library. We have NumPy and SciPy for scientific computing. We have scikit-learn, which is one of the most used uh, libraries for machine learning, data science, and, uh, uh, and uh, in general algorithms, which are related to AI. We also have TensorFlow, which is used a lot for deep learning. TensorFlow is, is, a, is a toolkit built at Google. Even though TensorFlow is not built in Python natively, it has a brilliant Python support. It has a layer of Python code that we can easily use. So because we have all these packages, it's much, much simpler to do machine learning or AI coding in Python because you don't have to implement all of the intricate algorithms. For example, most of the important algorithms that you come across, you either find it in scikit-learn or TensorFlow, or you'll find some open source code uh, written in Python. And Python is one of the more popular languages for our AI and machine learning. So it's very easy to get code for a new algorithm in Python. In addition to that, Python has something called as IPython notebooks. Uh, we, we'll use these as we go. To give you a quick overview of how an IPython notebook looks like, so let's look at this notebook. So here we can, we can mix code with content and it's very interactive. This is like a very simple UI and this can run off your uh, web browsers. So Python has this very nice interactive framework called IPython, which is extremely useful when you're doing data analysis and modeling. And in this course, we extensively use IPython notebooks for all of our data analysis, for all of our code. And it's also very easily shareable because I can just give you an IPython notebook and you could run it on your laptop or your desktop very easily. Equally importantly, Python is extensively used for AI in the industry. Of course, there are a couple of other languages that are also heavily used. There is a language called R, uh, which is a statistics language, which is extensively used in industry. But the reason we didn't do it in R and Python is Python is a much more general purpose language, while R is limited only to applications in statistical programming. So we avoided R because Python is much more general language. And learning Python in general uh, is very useful because you get all of these libraries and you can do general purpose programming also. So if, if you already know C, C++, Java, you can tomorrow go and say, I also know Python. But if you say, I know R, um, okay, R is used only in a very limited set of applications, but Python is a very general purpose language. Looking at all of these reasons, we picked up Python over any of your traditional languages like C, C++, Java, or R.